newly confirmed coronavirus cases continues to rise in Catalonia, with over 700 more reported today. The last week has seen almost double the amount of newly confirmed cases compared with the previous week. This is Catalan News in 100 seconds. A day after Catalonia recorded its highest spike in new coronavirus cases since May, an even higher number was registered today. 774 new COVID-19 cases were confirmed on Friday, with 280 coming in the Segria County under lockdown. The government has warned of spikes among young people, and Interior Minister Miquel Buch admitted difficulties in keeping such a large area confined. La territorialidad era, era muy más pequeña que yo, en el Segria. Los accesos eran muy menores que no pas las que tenemos en Segria. Catalan President Quim Torra aims to refocus the pro-independence movement with a meeting among the various political parties and civic groups in the coming days. Torra insists on resuming the bilateral negotiation table with Spain soon, despite some wariness among the Junts per Catalunya ranks. The lawyer of Jordi Cuixart has called on the United Nations to pressure Spain into releasing the Omnium Cultural President and the other jailed leaders. By Monday, Cuixart will have spent 1,000 days in prison, arbitrarily, according to his representative. Son emprisonment constitue une violation grave de la liberté d'expression et de réunion pacifique et produit un chilling effect pour l'ensemble de la société civile en Espagne. Music festivals are carrying on this summer with social distancing, in reduced formats and with extra safety measures. The pop rock festival Cruia XXS is taking place with various performances throughout July, while the festival Pedralbes opened last night with a very familiar feel. The 24th edition of the European Balloon Festival kicked off this morning with a tribute to healthcare workers. The Igualada Hot Air Balloon Festival saw its first flight take off today, with balloons carrying a message of appreciation for those working on the front lines against the coronavirus pandemic.